Maestas, uh, he occupies an old school building on Beacon Hill. Finally, Roberto was able to acquire that old building for the center called the El Centro de la Raza. Between all four of us, we've been able to generate millions and millions of dollars of mostly public financing to build things that we need to build for the people. I have no doubt that the same spirit of serving all the people, the same effort to reach out and make sure that low-income African-Americans, Asians, Samoans, poor whites all figure out a way to use the new cultural center and meeting rooms and educational programs that are gonna flow from this building. I am so proud to know Jill and so very proud that they are receiving the Roberto Maestas Legacy Award. I think uh, I'm involved with racial justice work and community organizing because I see it as a way for communities of color, uh, low-income people to actually make changes in this system. In a lot of the work that Jill does, they really root what they're working towards and who they're working with in community. And so who are the people that are the most impacted? People who are most impacted by the issues have to be at the heart of the solutions. Really making sure that women, workers, young people are at the forefront because we're the ones who you know, are experiencing disproportionately. Frank is totally committed to the community. He values and champions all activities in the community with his special focus being economic development. And within economic development, his more definitive focus is working with and assisting minority businesses. I think the uh, largest accomplishments uh, from my work the last few years has been elevating the issues uh, with regard to Washington State's Initiative 200. Uh, that was the People's Initiative uh, that was passed in 1997. Uh, unfortunately for a lot of our folks in our community, it was sold to them as a state law on civil rights. But actually what it is is an anti-affirmative action law. For the work that I do, uh, it's devastated public opportunity for uh, businesses contracting with uh, local cities, counties, and the state. Even though I didn't meet Roberto Maestas, I heard about him and his legacy and working across sectors and, and different cultures to really build community in Seattle. He was a fearless uh, champion for the community and someone I highly regard. 